Hi everyone, Natasha here and around my home today I am in my kitchen and I just wanted to take a few minutes to share with you some of my favorite essential oils for fall. So just behind you I have my essential oil diffuser going with uh, my current favorite blend and I'll show you that in just a minute. And I was just working on my morning routine and was thinking about how grateful I am to have the essential oils because they add so many benefits to our lives and I uh, just enjoy being able to use them and know that it's a healthy alternative to um, keeping our home clean and smelling great and keeping us healthy. So anyway, I have my timer set for 15 minutes and I'm just gonna go through some of my favorites. Uh, my current favorite that I have going in the diffuser right now is a combination of, here it is, the Resistance Essential Oil Blend. Sorry, it's kind of bright. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. So from Jordan Essentials. And essentially, it's kind of an ancient recipe that comes from Europe during the time of the plague. Um, and it has, I have to look at some of my notes, clove, lemon, cinnamon, rosemary and eucalyptus and clove especially but several of the others have a lot of great benefits for the immune system they're antibacterial clove especially is antibacterial anti uh, fungal anti septic <laughs> antiviral antiparasitic uh, and it is an immune stimulant so especially this time of year as we're in the fall and getting closer to the flu season in the winter at least here in the Midwest in the US. Uh, this is a great one to have and I've been pretty much having it going in our diffuser since it came out in September from uh, Jordan Essentials. And along with that I like to add orange, so a little bit of the orange essential oil and I also add, um, at least lately I've been adding a little more eucalyptus because a few weeks ago I was getting over a cold and um, I also have a little bit of seasonal allergies, so this time of year it's the ragweed here in the Midwest that kind of messes with my system. So the um, eucalyptus just kind of helps with breathing, opening the airways. So typically what I'll do is maybe six to eight drops of resistance, that's kind of the main one, and then I'll do two to five drops of orange. It comes out fast. so. <laughs> I shoot for two and sometimes I get closer to five um, and eucalyptus is the same way. I try to really only do one or two drops but sometimes it ends up being three or four which is fine. Um, and I have an Aracacia brand um, essential oil diffuser and I really like it. It runs, you can set it for three hours, one hour, you can turn the light on and off. Um, and I typically, before I have to refill it, can run it about seven, almost eight hours. So I like that one. I keep it in the kitchen and um, like I said, I have that going pretty much every day. And then um, another form of the Resistance Essential Oil Blend that I like using is the spray. So the spray bottle looks like this. I know, sorry, it's so hard to see because of the light. There, you can kind of see it. Um, anyway, so that one, I use it in several ways. It's actually really good. I spritz it on my pits, my armpits, and I know that sounds crazy, but because, whoops, because it is antibacterial, antifungal, all that, um, it actually kind of helps with any underarm odor. I wear the Jordan Essentials natural deodorant too. I typically wear the charcoal uh, deodorant and sometimes I use the kind that's scented, sometimes I use the unscented kind, but I've been finding that um, doing two to three sprays under my arms and just kind of letting that dry while I'm getting ready seems to boost the uh, deodorant factor a little bit longer and makes it last even, you know, almost through the whole day, especially if I'm busy working. Um, plus it just smells good. It's kind of a way to add my own little perfume. Um, and what's one of the other ways? Oh. So this, um, I don't know if you can see that. So this is the um, one of the holiday bundles that's out right now with Jordan Essentials. And I am really excited about it because it's the Resistance Blend. So this is called the Gift of Wellness. Um, it's $24, but everything on here um, in these bundles, you get 10% off by getting the bundle. Um, and I'm excited about it because I'm going to break it up and use it as teacher gifts coming up in the holidays. So you get the Resistance uh, Foaming 
hand soap, which is not, it's available now in the catalog, but normally that's not something that's available. This is all kind of new. Um, the resistance hand sanitizer. So again, all those great properties. Um, I threw this in my purse or sometimes it makes its way just in my car, but I just like having that around, um, especially like I said, as we're kind of getting more into flu season and just you know, everybody's back to school, all that. Um, and then it comes with a small, I think this is a one ounce bottle of the spray. And I like carrying this with me in my purse for multiple reasons. <laughs> it's, um, it's great as a little um, refresher if I'm starting to feel like I don't smell that fresh halfway through the day. So I can just spritz a little bit of this on and feel a little fresher. Um, but also if you're out, you can spritz doorknobs. You can even spray your hands if you don't have the hand sanitizer with you. Um, you know, if you're flying, you could spray the seat surfaces around you. So it's just a nice way to add that little antibacterial, antifungal aspect to things. It smells great and it's real easy to use. Um, and I like these that are already, you know, mixed with the product because then you don't have to figure out how to mix it. So that's, that's one of my current favorites. How am I doing on time? Okay, good. Um, a second favorite this time of year. Well, this one really is year round in the kitchen. I like using the lemon essential oil. I'm sorry. The light is great for me, but bad for the product. Anyway, it's lemon essential oil um, foaming hand soap. So I keep this at the kitchen sink and that's our hand soap we use all the time. I like it because the lemon really cuts through odors. So when I'm chopping onions or, you know, just working with stuff that's a little on the smelly side, the lemon oil cuts right through it. So that's a really nice refreshing smell to have around. Um, and then the essential oil dropper, sometimes I'll add a few of that, a few drops of that into my um, essential oil diffuser. And then the spray, I really like the spray for when I've just cooked something and we have people coming over and I don't want it to smell like what I just cooked. I usually run the diffuser anyway, but it's nice to just run around the kitchen kind of spritzing this um, even through some of the other parts of the house because I feel like it just automatically pulls that smell out. It just smells fresh and clean like lemon. Um, so that's a good one. And the other, um, actually I forgot to with the resistance blend and with the lemon blend, I also like to mix those in with my homemade cleaners. So I just do the vinegar cleaner, so it's about a third-ish of vinegar and two-thirds of water and then maybe two to six drops of the essential oil. And, you know, year-round lemon is good. Lemon always smells fresh and clean, but especially this time of year, I've been enjoying using the resistance blend because that kind of makes the house smell more like fall. It's, it's going to be, I think, 86, 87 or something today where I live. There is rain coming later in the week and cooler weather, but um, it really doesn't feel like fall. But I keep trying to pretend it's fall and get these smells going and just uh, make me feel like it is coming. It's, it'll be here soon and we'll have the cooler weather soon. So, all right. And then the last one is um, tea tree. And so tea tree essential oil. It's not necessarily my favorite scent. It's kind of a medicinal scent, but it has a lot of really good properties and benefits just kind of as a household product. Um, the first one, if you have children or if you're just working in a school or around kids, is um, tea tree helps to, I believe it helps kill lice and keep them from coming back. So you can put a few drops in your shampoo and then every time you wash your hair, you're putting just a little bit of that tea tree oil on your scalp. So especially for the kiddos, then even if lice breaks out in the classroom, you've got a little, you know, extra layer of protection that hopefully they won't get it. If they would happen to get it, then you can definitely treat with it. Um, not the, you don't want to use the oil straight. You want to mix it with something. So like I said, either with their shampoo, with the conditioner and just leave it sit. Um, you could use the spray form, so like this, but with the um, tea tree and spray, cause that's diluted. Um, so that's one that I just feel good having around. I usually keep some in our shampoo. Um, and then I have a, one of my friends whose husband had really bad athlete's foot. Um, and he would just, he's, you know, like a lot of us, he was in a job or is in a job where he wears boots, uh, steel toed boots all day. And just, it was just kind of one of those things that happens. And so she, rec I recommended her and she was, um, having him do it and it was working. So he took the, 
um, tea tree oil spray and was spraying his feet I think morning and night um, and I even told her just put a little bit in some of the unscented shea butter lotion and he could put that on before he put his socks on and so he you know she said before it all started his feet were red and cracked and peeling and just not in good shape at all and within about a week of doing it twice a day and keeping up with it they were noticeably better and in about two weeks it was all cleared up um, and he's just continuing to do it she said he likes having that and it's worked so well and it was easy to do and wasn't you know medication that I'm sure it would work too, but she's, she said, and I thought, sure, why not? She wanted to try the natural option first, and if that didn't work, then it was time to go to the doctor. So, um, but anyway, so I really like to know that, you know, that's another way to use the tea tree oil around the home and for your family that's a uh, benefit, it's healthy, you know, it does what it's supposed to do. Um, so that worked out great. And let's see, is there anything I missed? Um, yeah, tea tree oil is uh, general antibacterial and antivirus. So even on, um, like I know they in the summer they had a bite stick, after bite stick, so if you got a bug bite that was itchy, and it had tea tree oil, I think eucalyptus, a couple others, but it's good for, um, you know, just general skin health too. Um, and what else? Oh, and then the orange essential oil sometimes if I just feel like I'm kind of dragging and I need a little boost, I'll just do the straight orange or a little bit of the orange and lemon, or I'll you know stick with my resistance blend, but I'll do like half resistance, half orange, because um, the orange just really helps to brighten your mood, kind of give you a little bit of boost, um, can help with anxiety, and um, yeah, it's kind of uplifting sense. So anyway, those are my favorite current essential oils and I'll put links below for all the products if you're interested um, or if you've got your own you know version of them and you were just looking for some new ways to use them that's great too I just like the fact that you know essential oils are a healthy natural way for us to do some home remedies that are safe and you you know you know you know you don't have to worry about it uh, not strong medication unless that's needed of course but and it goes without saying but I'm not a doctor so <laughs> Don't, you know, don't listen to me. If it doesn't seem right to you, go to your doctor. Of course, you know, hopefully we all know that, but just, just as a disclaimer, all I'm doing is sharing with you what's working for my family. So um, I hope that was helpful to you. Let me know if you have any questions. Can you, um, actually in the comment section below, you can put your favorite essential oil. It'd be fun to see what everyone's favorites are, or if you've never used them and you're just thinking about getting started in them, you could put that down below too. Um, one recommendation I do have is if you're buying essential oils, try to check that they are therapeutic grade and if they have been steam derived versus chemically derived, because obviously chemically derived just means you're going to be getting some chemicals mixed in with the oil, whereas steam derived, all they've done is kind of break down the plant fibers with steam and that releases the oil. So it's a much safer and healthier way to get the oil. So whatever brand you love, that's great. I just like to recommend those two things that you kind of check out the quality of it by um, whether it's steam derived or not and then if it's therapeutic grade. Um, I usually don't recommend ingesting essential oils. Some people do, that's fine. Do what works for you. So all right, anyway, put your comments and questions down below, or like I said, let me know your favorite essential oil or if you've never used them. And you can click the red subscribe button and find out when I post videos again. Um, I'll be showing my latest uh, organizing project in the 30 bags for 30 days, or 30 bags in 30 days challenge soon. That'll be coming up soon, so you can check that out. And thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great day. If it's autumn where you are, hopefully it's a beautiful autumn day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.